So here's another one of those, those uh, stories that Jesus told that has a deeper meaning. I mean, if you sow seed in the field, is that the only thing that grows out there? Do you ever have a weed that comes up? There's weeds come up in the field, right? I mean, that's pretty ordinary, right? When you see, when you go down and, and look at a rice field, you say, oh, I see some weeds out there. It's not, everything in the field is not rice, is it? Everything in your garden is not what you planted. There's something else. Where did that come from? That's a weed. I don't want that. It's, it's bothering my plants. So, this was a very common thing. This was a, a story that was... I mean, why, are you, why are you even telling it? Everybody knows this. We know that weeds grow in fields. And, and here in this case, it was even worse than just weeds growing in the field because an enemy had gone out and purposely put weeds in the field and sown weed seed in the field. If there was an enemy had done this, that would make you angry, wouldn't it? Somebody, you had planted a field and somebody came and sowed weeds in your field? And you're trying to make a living, trying to grow a crop? And they, they sabotage your, your crop? That, that would make you angry. And I'm sure that this householder was not happy with what happened to his field. But he had a solution. If, if you're familiar with gardening or with farming, you know that plants that grow close to each other, they become entangled with each other. The roots grow together. And if, and if they're, if you're not careful, when you pull a weed, it also pulls up the neighboring plant, or maybe two or three neighboring plants. So it becomes a, a difficult uh, proposition to, as to what to do with that. The householder had a solution. He said, "Let everything alone. Let it grow until the harvest, and we'll sort it out at the harvest." And the solution, or, or the explanation for this, was. You have children of the kingdom and you have children of the evil one that are, that are growing together. And if God was to strike someone dead or, or to send his angels and come and snatch them away, while well, in this life where everything is growing in this, this evil world, he would lose some of the plants that he was trying to save. If, if you had, if, if an angel came and killed your father, or if an angel came and, and killed your, your brother or your child because they sinned, that would have an effect. And, and people might become discouraged and say, well, if God is that way, you know, I've done that before. He didn't kill me, but He killed my son, my brother, my father, whatever. He killed them. Why, why should I serve a God like that? I, I give up. I quit. I'm not going to. I'm not going to serve Him anymore. So here was that was what God was trying to avoid by not doing it now. And as a result, we have wickedness in our midst, and we have wickedness that um, influences people. But God says, "Let them grow into the harvest, and then He will sort them out at the harvest." Again, the disciples didn't understand this parable. In verse 36 it says, Then he left the crowds and went into the house, and his disciples came unto him, saying, Explain to us the parable of the weeds of the field. This is how you find out. You go to God and you study and you ask and you inquire. If you don't understand something about the Bible, about God, well, it's, it's not going to soak into your head automatically. You have to go find out. You have to study. You have to ask. You have to inquire. That's what the disciples did. There are answers. You know, if you don't understand about evolution or if you don't understand about where did I come from or where am I going, there are answers for those questions. Those are, those are legitimate questions. And you have a right to know. But it's not going to fall into your head by accident. You have to make some effort on your part to find out. And that's what the disciples did. They didn't understand this teaching, so they inquired. They, they tried to learn what the meaning was. He answered, the one who sows the good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world, and the 
good seed is the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the sons of the evil one. And the enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the close of the age. And the leapers are the angels. So you see there's a there's a one-for-one -one explanation. Each of these elements of the parable had a meaning. And he explained what the meaning was. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be open to you. Jesus will help you to understand if you inquire, if you diligently seek Him. But it, it doesn't always happen the first time. You know, if you say, Lord, what does that mean? He may not answer you, by the way. You may have to keep digging. You may have to keep inquiring. It may take years to find out. But you can do it if you will keep at it. 